Hello, my name is Ted Blake. I do everything here at Mount San Jacinto College including teach English, activity director of Title V, member of BSI, IPC, assessment council, budget committee, executive vice president of academic senate, LRC coordinator, weekend maintenance crew, head of agricultural development, and manage the snack shack. I'm the most mellow dude you will ever meet. Hello there Mellow Ted, I'm the angry Dr. Chingu, I teach math at the San Jacinto campus, and I can't believe they still haven't given me my shredder, I just want some black markers for the whiteboard, a stapler, and a stinking shredder, if you can't tell, I am full of pent up rage and aggression. Angry Ching, besides the shredder and the marker issue, which you can send a lengthy mass email about later, what else is upsetting you? I am angry Ching, I can't believe that little kid we have as the assessment coordinator is making me do even more work than I already do, I would love to teach more, and in my spare time fight the man who is keeping me from my shredder and markers, instead, I have to create all of these student learning outcomes for my courses and assess them, all on my own. You must be talking about Brandon Moore, assessment coordinator extraordinaire. Now, I know I'm Mellow Ted, but I didn't think it was that bad when he explained it to me. Do you understand the student learning outcome and assessment process? I am angry Ching, I didn't actually talk with Brandon, but Dean Carlos Lopez told me how complicated the entire process is. Now I am freaking frustrated, because I have to do all of this work on my own. Angry Ching, there is no need to be so hostile about this process. Dean Carlos Lopez was simply overcomplicating things as usual. Creating, assessing, and analyzing your student learning outcomes is not like Carlos's multiple regression analysis, or something you should do on your own. That's great, I don't have to do it on my own, I am still angry, but the rage is slowly subsiding. Just take the course outline of record to the next department meeting, where all members of the math department can decide which objectives to focus on. From those objectives determine the three most important skills, knowledge, or attitudes a student should attain from the specific course. Once those have been identified, figure out what type of assessment or measurement tool you will use to assess the student's performance. I want to be angry, what is this warm and fuzzy feeling that is causing my frown to turn upside down? But wait, there's more. After the data is gathered for all sections of the course, meet with the department to discuss possible changes to the student learning outcomes, assessment tools, course curriculum, or teaching methods that will improve the quality of student learning. Thus, the cycle begins again. See how simple it is? This sure is easier than getting a shredder or markers, plus, this really benefits my students, which is what I care about the most. That is the whole point of the student learning outcomes and assessment cycle, to improve student learning. One of our top priorities at Mount San Jacinto College, the learning-centered institution that we are. So, do you think you might talk to that assessment coordinator kid, Brandon, again? Yes, now that it seems so simple and beneficial, I will go talk to Brandon, the kid with the earrings, and find something else to become angry about. That sounds great. I have to go fill up my water bottle.